The Guinness Kerry National beginning the run now towards the first fence and it's last year's winner, You're Busy, who's gone straight to the lead from on the inside, Awiga Star. Right up in the centre is She's a Portrait. And these are closely followed on the outside by Rogue Angel. So they come to jump the first and You're Busy lands in the lead with right up on the outside joining in now to just take over is Rogue Angel on the approach to the turn into the straight. So Rogue Angel and Jer Fox pick it up from your busy and Katie Walsh with She's a Portrait and Philip Enright showing in third place as they swing in. A couple of lengths further back then to tracking them on the near side is Rule the World. A week of star is on the inside followed by the Paparazzi Kid and then comes Ravished who's just on the outside in company taking them on up with lots of memories so they come to fence number three two complete circuits of the track ahead of them in the Guinness Kerry National and the leader is on the near side Rogue Angel Jeff Fox in front you're busy Katie Walsh a week of star close on the rail in third place followed by she's a portrait the gray and in between them is ruled the world horrendous hullabaloo is improving next a place on the outside of ravish lots of memories is followed into the turn by alenshi anwa and then dare to endeavor and the paparazzi kid on the inside tracked by cantlow just after them is in the van being followed by arano who's just on the outside of color squadron as they go to jump the fourth and over that, Anbo Raman is towards the back of the field with Bridges Pets. So in the lead, taking them on down the far side, Rogue Angel leads by less than a length to your busy. She's a portrait, is third, and in fourth place is on the outside, Rule the World. A close up fifth, the Wiga Star, and then two lengths to her Angus Hullabaloo with lots of memories. Alelchi Anwar, the paparazzi kid, dare to remember. Color Squadron's on the inside. Arano is followed then by. Color Squadron on their outside, and they're being followed by Ravished, who's racing in company with Bridget's pet towards the back of the field with Anbo Raman, as they continue right over on the far side. Still showing two lengths in front is Rogue Angel, in second place is Your Busy. They're being followed, disputing third place. She's a portrait with Rule the World. Horrendous Hullabaloo has improved, and these are being followed by Colour Squadron, who's making steady ground with Cantlow, also making ground right up just behind the horses, uh, fourth and fifth, and then Awiga Star is sixth on the inside. Tracking them is the top way to Lel Chianois, as they begin now to make the run towards the next fence before they approach the straight, and the leader is Rogue Angel by two and a half lengths to your busy in second, and then she's a portrait third with Cantlow showing in fourth place. They're on the approach to the turn into the straight. That group are followed by Rule the World with the Uyga Star on the inside, and then comes Horrendous Hullabaloo, Alelchi and Was. So they come round the bend now to swing into the straight to face the two fences that'll be the final two next time, as Rogue Angel still shows in front. Your busy is on the rail. The grey is she's a portrait. Rule the world is in fourth in company. And gone there. Cantlow is gone. Cantlow is down. The paparazzi kid and Awiga star next. And both horse and rider quickly up. So they make their way on up now to pass in front of the stands. And she's a portrait has come up now to almost join Rogue Angel, who still, however, is a three parts of a length leader. Second, she's a portrait, six lengths to rule the world. You're busy, the paparazzi kid, Alel Shianwa, horrendous hullabaloo, a weaker star on the inside of lots of memories. And then on Beau Raman is improved on the outside of Dare to Endeavour. On the inside is Colour Squadron, Bridget's Pet in the van and Urano, and the back marker is Ravished. So they race on now towards the next fence, racing right away from the stands. Rogue Angel over a couple in front. In second is She's a Portrait. In third is Rule the World. And then the Paparazzi Kid showing four, with Alel Shion War next, and then lots of memories. Horrendous Hullabaloo, your busy has dropped a few places, and they're followed by Colour Squadron, who's trying to improve with Unbo Romano and dare to endeavor over the next rogue angel leads rule the world is second and lots of memories is gone there and so too is a Uyghur star as they race on down the far side in front rogue angel leads by three to rule the world in second place as they continue on down the far point of the track Paddy Kennedy on his feet but yet to see Jonathan Burke rise they're going now right over on the far side 
and it's still the front running Rogue Angel and Jer Fox with a five length lead with four to jump in the Kerry National from Rule the World she's a portrait then making ground on the outside from the back of the field is Urano the paparazzi kid and her Rangers hullabaloo and they're followed by Colour Squadron they're racing now towards the third last and it's Rogue Angel still in front Rule the World the paparazzi kid the inside she's a portrait and they're being followed by Urano who's just behind them and then she's a portrait they're on the run for the home turn and Rogue Angel now being taken on by both Rule the World and alongside Urano a couple of lengths then to the paparazzi kid she's a portrait and they're followed on the turn by Colour Squadron into the straight they come with two fences left to jump and it's Rogue Angel from Rule the World on the outside is Urano they're being followed by the paparazzi kid they're coming to the second last now and it's Rule the World and David Mullins landing fractionally in front Girano is running on strongly now towards the outside for Paul Townend and at the final fence Girano over in front from Rogue Angel who's back into second on the run up towards the finish Girano with Rogue Angel coming back with a tremendous late bid they're going to hit the line it's on the nod Girano and Rogue Angel put it up to the judge a tremendous finish third home will be ruled the world and they're clear of the paparazzi kid Well, a great finish. Joe Fox certainly thinks he's got there in Rogue Angel, and I wouldn't be inclined to disagree, to be honest. I think he's just nutted Urano on the line. We'll wait for confirmation, but it looks that way. And what a bold move it was to turn this horse out again after running here on Sunday. What a tough customer he is to pull it off. I think he's pulled it off anyway. As I say, we're waiting for confirmation. Mess Morris has sent out the third as well. Rule the world. Urano looked as though he was coming to win his race, but... In the past, he's looked a bit of a short runner, Irano. Doesn't always finish off his races that well. He, had every, he was produced to perfection there by Paul Townend. He could hardly have left it any later. But he just starts to paddle a bit when he gets to the front. And Rogue Angel, I think, has got by him in the last strides. And we are still waiting for that to be confirmed. You'd certainly be surprised if Rogue Angel's been beaten at the very least. As we watch the closing stages once again. Real the World's run a terrific race too under David Mullins, the horse who had that hard luck story in the Galway plate. Horrible falling behind there for another of the Jiggins Town runners. Horrendous hullabaloo. Good to see the horse and Dunham Myler on their feet. It was an eventful race. Lots of memories crashed out over on the far side when he was still going well. And he actually brought down Oiga Star. Here it comes. Rogue Angel confirmed the winner. What a great result for Mouse Morris here. Four, First four, and third in the Guinness Kerry National. Jiggenstown as well. They will be thrilled to bits with this. And Jer Fox too. Let's not forget Jer Fox was meant to ride Road to Riches in the Galway Plate last year, only to miss out due to an injury pretty close to the race. Shane Shortall stepped in and the rest is history. So that will be extra special for him.